Sometimes this UPO paper can be really persnickety. For instance, maybe when I was drawing my tail, I was erasing it too much and it left a residue and it won't take to the UPO. So UPO paper, again, is remember, it's that plastic. It's called UPO, Y-U-P-O. It's a plastic paper where you can wipe this whole painting off if you want to and I'll kind of demonstrate a little bit as we go. So for some reason, it wasn't taking really well, so you may have to just kind of work it. So I, what I did is I took some cerulean blue and burnt umber. Cerulean blue and burnt umber, and it makes a really pretty gray. And I just started putting it on the, on the tail and the, um, the side fins. For instance, I'm going to turn this one this way, and we'll see how it takes on here. Now on this tail, it's okay. And you can be really loose and just have fun. The, the, they're so... Neat thing about these fish is they're so random, and I love doing Lucy. Oh, I like that. Look at that. I just did it. You don't get it wet. Let's go ahead and do the, it's been on its back. Okay. It's not wanting to stick on here, but I don't really, when it dries, we'll see if we can dry brush with my liner brush some little fins. And it could be when I was drawing it, like I said, I might uh, might be a little bit of re eraser residue on there. But I kind of like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and put a little on this fan. Look how you can just be, you don't have to be perfect. Go ahead and do that one. Because we'll put the, the lines on later. That looks pretty good. So we'll flip her back like this. So we kind of have that um, cerulean blue and burnt umber. And we'll see if we can. There we go. So sometimes, I guess if you just kind of beat on the paper a little bit, it'll start sticking. The more you press on it, it kind of will help the pa paint it here a little bit better. So it kind of, oh, that looks great. So see, it did kind of finally take. That looks great. Okay, we'll kind of leave this be for a minute. Another thing that you can do, like I was showing you with the UPO, is you can lift. Just take a brush that's clean. And if I want to lift a few little areas, I can. See how you can, it just lifts right off. Same with here, I can just kind of lift. Lift a few areas. You can give your tail some texture. Uh, for instance, we've got this is a guy that you'd be looking right down on. You're not going to see his fin on his back very much, but I can just kind of throw some color around that. That looks really good. All right, next what I'm going to do, so just kind of have fun of it with it. First, you put your color in, just randomly, and we'll put the eyes in when it dries a little bit. Randomly put your color in, and let's start on some background. This is a really quick painting, so I'm going to take some beautiful, I've got the turquoise, I did this when I did the poppies a couple months, about a month or so ago. Turquoise, and remember I did my turquoise, and I'm going to mix it with some sap green. So I kind of get an emerald looking turquoise, and then I get just a solid turquoise. So there's my turquoise. And here I took my turquoise and I mix it with some sap green and you kind of get a, a green color. We'll kind of incorporate that in the water a little bit. So here we go. And the nice thing about this is you can stop in the middle of doing the background because you're going to texture it. I'm going to show you how to texture again. So here's the first, the turquoise. I'm just going to lay it, go around your fish. Not getting it wet or anything. Just going to kind of work on this corner first and you know even if you want to take a little uh, scrap piece of um, UPO you can and just kind of mess with it just kind of get the feel of the paint a little bit and the more you scrub on it you kind of it, you must scratch the surface somehow and it the, the paint adheres a little bit better. I'm just going to kind of do that. Just kind of do the bottom here. Just 
this is just a really pretty here I'm putting on a little bit thicker more paint less water now watch what I'm gonna do I've mixed it with a little bit of sap green and maybe in one little section we'll have a little bit of a green turquoisey color going up I'm just gonna kind of randomly put it in I'll put it up against the fish here so that's kind of pretty now watch what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take the napkin Kind of give it, crinkle it up. And I'm not pushing really hard. And I'm just going to do, this is what I did when I did the poppies. Kind of have it crinkled up like that. And I'm just going to very lightly, while it's wet, flip around. And if I need a littler area to go around my fish. And then I'll just keep painting as I go. The neat thing about this is you can stop in the middle of a piece. I think last night I stopped halfway through, went and had dinner, and came back and finished my background. That's, I really like what's going on in here. And then again, you can kind of, and you can always come back and re-add and take off. And I can fine-tune my fin. I'm going to put some dry lines on the fin later. But look how I can kind of keep adding and keep going. This is the turquoise. Unlike watercolor paper, if you want a really soft graduated wash, you gotta, you gotta go. You can't stop. This you can. You can stop and go. And a little bit of the green that I added, maybe I'll kind of incorporate that up here. And again, I'll take my trusty napkin Not pushing real hard, guys. You don't have to. I love that in there. And then as I go, as I go, kind of like what I did on here, and I'll have it finished when I come back. As you head towards the top of the piece, I like it that it's a little bit lighter. I didn't put as much water on there. I mean, excuse me, as much, much paint. So let's go ahead and do that. Go ahead and do your background really easy. And then when we come back, we'll put some lines on the fins and we'll do the eyes and we'll be done.